So here I have a built a molecule, I have a methyl group here, I've got a halogen and a, a hydroxyl group here. And, and so what I've constructed here is I've constructed basically a, a chiral carbon center, a stereo center right here. Uh, this thing right here is going to be optically active. And I've set up the case where there would be an enantiomer of this that I can construct by switching the places of two of the constituents. Okay. So the first question I have is, is this R or is this S for this particular chiral stereo center? And so to do that, I'm looking at a carbon attached here, an oxygen attached here, a hydrogen here, and then some kind of halogen. Now, whatever the halogen is, it's going to be the number one priority then the oxygen is going to be the number two priority, the number three, and the number four priority. So in order for me to see whether this is uh, optically active, or I'm sorry, R or S, what I need to do is I need to orient myself where I'm looking down at the carbon with the fourth hydrogen, with the fourth constituent as far away from me as possible. And then I want to look and see how this rotates. So just by looking at it like this, it looks like I'm going from top to the bottom left, to, to kind of, um, to the, to the, not to the left, I'm looking at the top, to the bottom right, to the bottom left, and so I'm looking at a clockwise rotation, but I'm going to, I'm going to reorient this, so we can see that really nicely, so, so what I want to do is I want to take this, and you can see this, this hydrogen here is now as far away from me as possible, okay? And so now I have the number one priority, number two, and the number three. And so if you can look at how that would rotate, let me freeze that. So the hydrogen, the number four priority is now far away, and I'm looking at it where the carbon is, is directly in front of that. Well, now if I reassign, I've got one, two, and three, and that's very clearly a clockwise rotation, and therefore that would be R, as we predicted. Okay. Now, if I were to flip-flop two of the different ends on this, if I kind of take this apart really quickly, I'm going to switch the green and the black. It doesn't matter which two I switch, any two. Okay, and I'm going to reorient it so again, there's my hydrogen sticking out back here. So I'm going to set this there. Alright, so by, after switching two, if I read number, I've got one, I've got two, I've got three. Now I'm going in the counterclockwise direction, and therefore I now have the enantiomer. Now, this would be optically active, the R would be optically active. If I had equal amounts of both, that would give me a racemic mixture and then it would not be optically active. Um, and then these are configurational isomers. And they have different, I'm sorry, they have the same physical and chemical properties, so these would both react the same. However, the physical property is different in how they interact with polarized light, and these potentially could interact with a different chiral molecule differently. 